going on, gamers? This is Jimmy Bailey, bringing you a little bit of uh, State, of, State of Decay Lifeline, the uh, new expansion for the game. It's actually, I mean, it's pretty good. It's, um, I played it at PAX East, enjoyed it. It's really cheap. Right now, I got it for six ninety nine. It's, um, it's, I mean, really, there's not much to say besides it's more State of, De more State of Decay with more weapons, more cars, um, Basically, what they did is t took all our requests and put it all into an expansion with the new story. So, if you already have State of Decay, you pay the seven bucks and you get this whole whole ne next section. I've already been playing it three hours, and it doesn't feel like it's uh, it doesn't even feel like I I broke the tip of the iceberg. That's a cool painting. But I just want to show you a few minutes. Like, you know, State of Decay. I just came up to check out survey points to find out what it should do find some supplies I've already if you know State of Decay I'll show you right here right now I only have you can see them early because I only have uh, six characters seven characters there too sick um, but you can see my base I already got all this stuff you know I've already been upgrading um, I like to I need oil though. I need oil next. But yeah, so you know State of Decay, you know, you know all kinds of stuff like this. I'm just gonna quickly do the um, survey point, and then we're gonna go get some supplies. Show you just how uh, how many new cars there are. Satellite uplink. I do notice a lot of frame rate issues, but that's because they're throwing such a big game, such a big world into such a small package. There's going to be frame rate issues. Um, you know what I mean? I see. You'll see it a lot. You'll see a little. You'll see. You'll see it slow down quite often, but it's okay. You get used to it. You just kind of work with it. Alright, I think I got everything. We just received a request for assistance on a supply run. Transmitting coordinates now. Oh. Now, <laughs> personally, I hate ladders. I always freaking fall down. Alright, here we go. I love the arm, <laughs> the hand on there. The shotgun's awesome, watch. Oh, come on, I wanted to do the finisher. See how the frame rate just slow down when you save. Oh man. What's over there? Survivors, we have our first caller. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your situation. My family and I are holed up in a building near our house. We only made it a few blocks before they bought us a ship. Please. Anyone. I can't watch my family die. This is what the army left behind when they ran away. Now it's up to you listeners out there. We will broadcast their location until you tell us they're safe. If you've got the means, Get over there and help out. You know there ain't no civilians who can roll up on a horde and just clear it out for these people. It's us or nobody. I agree, but it's not that simple. We have orders. We can't just extract whoever we want. So if you haven't picked up on it, what you are is you're a, you're a 
an army crew. You're you're your girl and guy are two captains of an army team. And you guys are sent in here and it goes to shit and your whole squad falls out pulls out except you. Um and you try to extract as many people as you can. You do get helicopter support, stuff like that. Take this back room and then we'll go clear that or Take the axe. Oh! The really, really cool part of the, the new upgrade. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Is, um, vehicle storage. Come on, get a few of you lined up. You have plenty of ammo in this one, too. I mean, you can find ammo, you call on ammo drops. At least when I started, I haven't had an issue with ammo yet. Um, except with the, I mean, the shotguns, they do a lot of damage, so you can kind of go slow with them. Come on, girl! Oh my god, there's so many. Oh. We're gonna get this guy and then hop in a car. See what happened there? I just opened his vehicle storage. A mistake. truck, uh, military truck, which is nice because you got a lot more vehicle storage, you got, um, you got, the truck can take a lot of damage, can carry a lot, can carry a lot of people. Still has permadeath, which is cool. I think I can take the two of them. Hate that. That's what I hate. When you shoot him. Barrel. Give me some health in here, huh? Better get ready for company.
Really? How many you got to throw at me? That's bullshit. This better have something healthy in it. Go, so just get it open. Gotta be more careful next time. Fuck! Well, sorry for my language, by the way. <laughs> but if you're watching this, you probably, probably shouldn't be uh, too offended. I'll try to not make the video too long. I just wanted to give you guys a taste. Um, I haven't made a game video in a couple weeks. I just got back from E3. Loved it. I'm glad this came out. I uh, got back from uh, PAX last... Uh, I went to PAX, and I loved it a couple months ago. And I loved this game. This game was amazing. And uh, it actually made me go try the real, the original, because I, you know, watched a bunch of State of Decay, but I never played it. Um, I'm not a big Xbox guy, or um, Xbox 360. And um, so I decided to try it out. Loved it. And then now I, I was like, hey, let me play some more. I got the other DLC too, but honestly, I like this one a lot better. The, Especially talking on my packs, you can tell I put a lot more effort into this one. I thought it was going to be 15 bucks. I didn't know it was going to be so cheap. And where the hell's the food that's supposed to be here? Oh, see that frame rate? Every time. Survivors, we have a caller. Why don't you tell us your situation? I'm trapped. Please, if you're heading out of town, yeah, we're coming. I don't have much, but I'll fight alongside you. Just don't leave me to die. I can get rid of this chick. I'll show you the vehicle storage. All right, I'm gonna show you the vehicle storage. So we got that rucksack. Should should probably not put it in a <laughs> a damaged car, but. Wait, there's a horde inbound too. Alright, well now I can escape. Just run in here, grab it, and escape. I like it because you can line up your car so you can grab it and run. I got one on my back, two in the car, which is cool, because last time you used to have to call for a supply pickup, or you had to drive back and forth, back and forth. Wow. I gotta be careful now, this car is, I can't blow it up, I got all my, that's what happened. I had a car full of four packs of supply, or four, four rucksacks. And I blew it up like an idiot. Ha! Huh. Of course they put a horde in my way. Of course you gotta unload it, but that's okay. I do wish you could just drive a car right right into the base and drop it off, but I do love it. Love it. I mean, yeah, a couple days, after a couple days of just running, getting supplies, running, getting supplies, gets boring. But, it's really fun. It's reinvigorated my, uh, my love for this Gotta game. Catch my breath. Alright, so I gotta try running over some hordes on my way out. What do I need? I need some fuel real bad. I got food.
I just heard a screamer. Switch to her. Oh, Not sure busy. that's a good idea. I haven't played as him yet. I think we've discovered a flaw in my Aww. plan, listeners. I'm getting plenty of callers who say they're in trouble, but nobody's coming to save them. We're on our own out here, people. The least we can do is help each other. Well, I wanted to help them. I was doing it now. I hate... See, that's what I hate. I hate feeling like time, like not being able to get shit done. Like, I, I just want to do that supply run quick and then go back and save that, that family. But they're dead. <laughs> My car is almost blown up. Alright, so... I guess we'll go over here. Now there's no one to save. I'll get in the middle of a mission, then it'll say, save somebody. <laughs> and then I'll finish my mission and we'll have time. I hate that. In this one, there are, like, danger areas. Like, when it's red, it's a danger area. One more sweep. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Can't believe the Zeds didn't hear that. I found a stash of supplies. Mind helping me bring this stuff back to base? We're at the inside! Keep an eye on our six. I already searched it. Of course you are. Zombie just let her get in the car. <laughs> hey, you got a little, uh, on you. still got the door hit. See, you can do the door hit. <laughs> So I guess I'll uh, guess I'll just keep driving around, keep playing on my own. I guess I'll end the video though. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a uh, little uh, taste of of Lifeline. Um, I'll make more videos later. I just wanted to show you guys uh, one more thing. The um... oh shit, this thing is coming at me! <laughs> I just smacked him with the door. What a mistake! 
I wanted to show you the danger zones. Um, I'll show you that and then we'll get going. Huh, killed that quick. You got your fast cars, the Mustangs again. You got these little trucks on the side that you can just check. As you can see, I smash everything. I'm trying to get you to a red zone. It's all blocked off. Alright, I'll show you next video. But this map's huge. They made this huge, this map huge. I mean, you can see it. See all the red? Those are all danger zones. That means the zombies don't stop. But all right, guys, make sure you tune in to watch more of my videos. More, I play every game. I got every, I got all the systems. Um, I'll also be um, doing a bunch of giveaways. Like I said, I just got back from E3. I have a ton of E3 swag to get rid of. Ton of shirts, tanks. Um, I don't know, tons and tons of goodies. Um, posters, bags, lanyards, everything. So take a look at my channel. I got a video of all my swag. Um, if there's something in particular you're interested in, just leave a comment and I'll uh, see what I can do. Otherwise, we're doing giveaways. So, um, yeah, so just keep an eye out on my Twitter and my YouTube for the giveaways. All right, guys, make sure you uh, comment, like, subscribe, do all the good shit. And I'll, uh, I'll see you for the next game. I guess. Peace.